Hey guys, welcome to the 174th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to continue working on our address book project. And basically, what we're going to be doing is writing all the people to an XML file. So, the first thing that we're going to want to do here is actually edit the code that we use to create our XML file initially. Because in here, we just basically create an empty XML file, and we can't do that because we need to have a root element. So we're actually going to need to write a new XML file using an XML text writer to create that root element. So we're going to say XML text writer, XW equals a new XML text writer. And in here we're going to have to specify the path to the file that we're going to be creating. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this path that we already created up there. And then we're going to need to specify the encoding. And we're going to be using UTF-8 encoding. It's basically just um, a type of format for your text, or the way it's stored kind of. All right, and the next thing that we have to do is create um, a start element or a root element. So we're just going to say xw dot write start element, and I'm just going to call it um, people because after all, we're just going to be storing a bunch of people inside of our um, XML file right here. And then we're just going to write the end element to write that slash people at the bottom. So we're going to say right here um, xw for our um, XML text writer, and then we're just going to say uh, write end element. So write end element. All right, and then we're just going to want to close this so that we can reopen it with a different um, stream. So it's going to say uh, close right here. All right, so now that we have that all taken care of, we can actually begin writing the people um, to our XML file. And we're just going to want to scroll down here to the um, form closing event. And we're just going to basically want to loop through um, all the people inside of this uh, people list right here, inside of this person list, and write them to our XML file. But before we can do that, we're basically going to want to clear all the existing people out of there so that we don't have duplicates. So we're just going to want to select the uh, person or the people uh, element or the people node and just delete all the persons from there. So we're going to say XML. Uh, node x node equals um, x doc dot select single node and we're just going to want to select um, basically all the nodes inside of this people node so we're just going to want to say select this people node and then we're just going to want to delete all the person nodes inside of this people node so we're just going to say x node dot remove all and this will just remove all the children nodes from this people node so if there are like a bunch of people we have already installed inside of this people node, it'll just clear them all out and then we can write the existing ones or write the ones that um, the user hasn't deleted yet or that the user wants to store. So now we're just going to loop through all those people. So we're going to say for each person P in that list, so inside of that um, people list, then we basically just want to create um, a new node for them and then add them to this document. So we're going to say XML node x top oops top equals x doc dot create element and we're just going to call this person. And then inside of this person node we're going to have um, all the properties inside of this person class. So their name, their email, their street address, etc. So now we're just going to want to create a new node for all of those. So we're just going to say XML node um, x name equals x doc dot create element and then their name so name and I actually have all this already copied or already written out so you don't have to watch me um, go ahead and write all of it so I'm going to go ahead and paste this over here but basically we're just going to be creating a node for every property inside of this person class all right, and now it's time to fill these nodes up with the text, so the information that we want to store. So we're going to say um, x name dot inner text equals, and then that person's name. So we're just going to say p dot name, and then we're going to want to do the same for all of the other properties. And I already have that written out as well, so I'm just going to go ahead and copy all of this right here. Alright, so now we set the email, the address, the notes, and for the birthday we do something special. We convert it into file time, which is basically numbers or a long, 
and then we're going to want to convert that into a string. And then we'll read that back later on in the next tutorial. All right, and finally, we want to add um, all of these to this top node, to this person node, so that they're all stored inside of one person. And then we're going to want to add that person node to the actual document inside of this people node right here. So we are going to say um, x top dot append child. So basically, just add a new node to this x top node. So we're going to be adding um, the name first, so x name, and then we're just going to want to do that for um, all these other ones, all these other properties right here. So for their email, their address, the notes, and their birthday. And I already have that all written out as well, so I'm just going to go ahead and copy that and paste it right here. So now we're just adding the name, the email, the address, the notes, and the birthday all to this person node. And then we're going to want to add that person node to this um, people node, to the actual document itself. So we're just going to say xdoc dot um, document element dot append child, and then we're just going to want to add uh, that person node to the entire document itself. So we're just going to say x top. All right, and now that we have all this set up inside of our for each loop, once it's done going through every person, we want it to actually save the XML document. So we're just going to say xdoc dot save, and then we're just going to have to provide the path to that document that we want to save. So we can just go ahead and copy this path that we already created up here. All right, so now let's just go ahead and test it out. Now if we put a name in here, Adam, something, something, additional notes, whatever, add the contact, add another person, add the contact, and now when we close out, it should have saved that and added it to that XML document. So if we go in here, open it up, we see that we have Adam and that other person in there. All right, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. So see you guys.